Command interface initiated. Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. It's me, Pop Tarts Ninja. Welcome to the moon map. The moon biome is relatively unique, but it's got a few downsides to it. There's not a lot of cover, as you'll notice, and because there's a limited number of maps, you always know where the reinforcements are going to spawn. They nearly always spawn down in that little Commander. alley over there. So we're going to take sort of a circuitous path to reach our objective, just to make it take longer Copy for them that. to get to us. Because I'm not sure how many enemy mechs we'll be facing. This is a relatively safe way to make sure that we're only fighting one lance at a time, mm -hmm. as I'm long going. as we can kill the first lance quickly enough. And it doesn't always work if the enemy has a lot of LRM boats. Sometimes like they will still be able to shoot you from halfway across the map. Fortunately, it looks like the enemy lance here is fairly small. Although that locust did get a lucky hit while we had near max movement. Picked up a blip. And they do have one medium mech. They're up in the uh, the tier three. Oh, it's a vehicle. Never mind. Vehicles randomly get assigned turns, no matter their Standing weight class. By. Heavier vehicles will always move slower, but sometimes you'll have vehicles that are relatively light moving at the assault mech phase. One of the biggest dangers on the moon map, though, is heat, because we don't vent Confirmed. very well. Look, it's a galleon, it's a light tank. Relatively light, Fire but it does have full arm. On enemy. Not that it matters all that. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. Something's got a few missiles. That's probably a Locust 1M. Yeah. There's only one mech at this stage in the game that fires That's missiles stupid. with that particular pattern. Two LRM-5s rather than a Location single LRM-10. And we're going to use sensor lock to make that locust a little easier to hit. That rifle can hopefully finish it in salvo. You got we'll it. see. Here we go. Oh. You gotta be shitting me. That should have hit. Right here. Mm-hmm. Guess I'll give it to you. We have enough ammo that I can take a long shot like that. But that wasn't ideal. Ah, oh, something over in the reinforcement lance has LRMs the one thing, and it moved in the medium phase, so that's probably either a Centurion or a Griffin. Didn't have LRM-15, so it's definitely not a Trebuchet. Since we get to move before the Locust, I'm trying to set up a good shot on it. Gets us good movement. Skipper! Roger that, Commander. Our line of sight's not great. You'll notice the line of sight line hits the uh, ground there, so the enemy gets yeah, partial cover. Nasty on that but we still take off about half its firepower, so I'll take it. The Locust 1E's weapons are all in the arms. Waiting for orders. I copy. And we're just going to use this hill here Fire to try to keep away. the enemy from getting easy line of sight on us. It doesn't work, but it was worth a shot. It's another Jenner. Not too bad. 
I'm listening. Now, there is a fourth enemy mech up here somewhere. We can Standing tell by. because that vehicle we destroyed was only a quarter of the enemy's forces, not a third. Copy that. Yes, you are. Yeah. But it's generally better to eliminate fire while we can. And that Jenner is standing in a radiation field, which is not good for Moving. it. Mm -hmm. Radiation fields are one of the moon map's hazards. They raise your heat. Here we go. When we got a head hit out of it. Oh, okay, the last thing's a vehicle, and that's probably a striker. I thought that was a locust. Oh well. Orders. Our Jenner's getting a little hot. So we'll have to be careful. Yeah. Yep. See if we can finish off that jenner. Fire! Notice it's not doing much, because it's in a radiation field, so the AI knows it's gaining more heat than it should. Good to go. The AI can be a little weird sometimes. Yep, it is a striker. We're just gonna Locked finish on. it. If we can. Oh, but it's got full armor. Strikers with full armor are surprisingly. Maybe that thing over there is another striker. We'll see. I'm hoping for a griffin. Ready I can really orders. use some griffin parts. Ready to rock. And our urban mech's lagging behind a little bit. Engage and jump jet. Let's see what you got. Critical hit. What's up, boss? Position confirmed. No sensor traces over there. And it's not worth overheating to try to get this kill. Not when we've got f mostly full movement. Plus. What say we take it to him? Confirmed. We can have the Irby do it. Ten four. Well, maybe. <laughs> that didn't hit. Damn it! I'm wounded. Oh, dang it! Damage is light. Yes, Commander. On the move. Head hits are always a risk. One of the downsides to being the player, we will see them more often than we will inflict them because we are nearly always outnumbered. Critical hit, Commander. And in Battletech, head hits are a question of numbers. The more numbers that you can generate, the more chances you have to hit the enemy in the head. At least for the time being. Commander. Location confirmed. On the trigger. There are things that we can do to mitigate head hits a little bit later on, but in this stage of the game, there's not much we can do, except keep our eyes out for cockpit mods that will soak an injury that would otherwise injure a pilot. And considering we need one of those for every mech we have, we can't really rely on them. Roger. They are not super common in shots. Something over there has an LRM-5. Receiving you. Like an LRM-10. Hey, yo. Engaging target. 
Mustang. That's a myth. Ah, oh, that Jenner's committing suicide. Jenner has, I want to say, the second worst melee damage in the game. Maybe third. The only mechs that have worse melee fire. damage are the Cicada and maybe the Locust. Acknowledged. I don't know about the Flea, actually. Engaging. Missed. Locusts don't try to melee very Commander. often. They have to be completely weaponless to try to go for Receiving a Receiving you. Move auto received. Engaging. Oh hey, incapacitated that Jenner. So that's three mech parts right there. Hostile removed. I'm listening. Confirmed. We're gonna spread out a little and cool off, and let the enemy come to us. Oh hey, it is a Locust 1M. We'll see if the other thing's a vehicle. Confirmed. It might not advance. Oh, that's weird. Why did it get to move twice? Good to go. Position confirmed. Oh well, whatever. It gave itself a worse move mod. And now it has none. Oh, that's a PPC. That's a Griffin. I just got excited. I'm doing minor damage. We're gonna try to capture as much yeah. of that Griffin as we can. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping for two parts. So Here first, we need to get rid of it this water. There's so many locusts. Waiting for orders. If I wanted a locust, I would have a locust. We just don't want the locust. They're not very good. And we're gonna send the Jenner out to bait. Roger that. Come on, Griffin. Oh, yep, definitely a Griffin. We're still early enough that we don't have reliable called shots. Yes, Commander. Copy that. But if we can take off both of its legs, that's two Griffin arms. But I have to actually hit the legs for that to happen. Orders? Which means we want to be attacking it from the side, so we have a higher chance. Location confirmed. Affirmative. There we go. I'll take that. If we can take off its PPC arm, too, that's most yeah. of its firepower. Gone. Skipper. It's just so far away; it's going to be Roger hard to that, flame. Commander. Affirmative. Especially if we keep missing. I need to get Commander. that Ultra AC-5 into that urban mech. I'm taking the highway. We're not gonna fire, we're just gonna vent some heat. While we close ground, the Griffin probably Ayo. can't do a significant damage. Oh, I say that, but of course, it can do significant damage to the urban mech. Didn't lose any structure. But I don't want to be tied up right repairing here. the urban mm -hmm. mech either.
Standing by. I can't get a side shot from here without using jump jets. Up high. We'll push our heat a little, but it's worth it. Let's see if we can get that leg. Firing all weapons. Oh. Confirmed. Cover, so the Griffin is less tempted to try to engage yes, it. Because we don't have the ability to move and shoot. Wait, do I? Did I take that skill? Oh, that was really risky. Venom doesn't have, uh, have that ability yet. I was just counting on being able to move her because of initiative shenanigans. Lifting off. Here we go. And that's all of the Irby's ammo. That should have hit. Black on AC-10 ammo. Yeah. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Gonna get physical on him. Well, that didn't work out. Waiting for orders. This part of the mission, we're taken relatively slowly because if I can get on my two way. parts out of this griffin, I want. Confirmed. It all relies on them shooting where I tell them to when not shooting the sentry torso. Commander. One thing that you can do though if you're trying to shoot a specific point. I'm trying to avoid running through the radiation field. Sorry about the uh, pathing hiccups. One of the things that you can do is if we can move down below it. I should be able to shoot at the legs, but Move I couldn't order. get a good angle. In this angle, the odds of hitting the legs are pretty low. Yeah, that was sent to torso. Ready for orders. Well, that worked nothing. I'm listening. We can risk running in for a punch cold. <laughs> Trying not to core this thing out. Give me grace. Whenever you're down I'm to one mech, you. you can afford to spend time like this, but if there's any enemies around, it's really risky to On try to do this. Because anything could go wrong. If that griffin decides to punch us, we could very easily lose a mech. Because it does punch hard enough to Receiving. straight up kill through cockpit armor if it hits a cockpit. Coordinates received. I get tempted to come back in with the Irby, but it's just not worth it. Not when all we've got are small lasers. What's up, boss? Moving to position. Orders. All right. Waiting for orders. And 
And since we've got some resolve, let's try for that leg. I'm just checking to see, checking its inner structure real quick in the top bar. And of course we hit it in the chest. Damn it. Pardon my French. It's only got 20 structure left in the center yeah. torso, and its legs are mostly pristine. So I don't think I'm going to succeed, but it's worth trying. Oh, go. okay. Yep, right through the arm, straight through to the torso. That there's a kid. Oh, well. I'll take one griffin part over no griffin parts. See you Mission next time. Successful.